the other day, uh, oh, hello there, didn't say hello. Um, the other day, yesterday, we did a display and I put the Sidley up running and whatnot. And uh, went via one of the members' houses, and he, this was in his scrap pile. I couldn't let him chuck it away. It's a, I don't know what sort of motor it is, it's C's. So the four, first task was to get the head off. Four out of the six bolts came out alright, but uh, to add to the list of interesting things I've found in a head, in a piston, they are Huntsman Nest. Bit odd. Alright, see where we go with it. Uh, hey there, did a bit more to the unknown engine last night after I filmed the dead spider nest in there. Um, we got it free last night. Oh, hang on, I'll try and turn it over in a sec. Uh, so yeah, got the head off as I said, the valves didn't come up as nice as I thought they would. The exhaust valve seems okay, which is odd because normally the inlet valve is the one that goes. But try and, there we are. She's uh free. I don't know why the guy really chucked it out. It's a beautiful bore in it. No real pit. Could use a honing out. But still got compression. Um, see if I can. There we are. If it sucks down, it should. Uh. No, there's no compression actually. The little bit. I can't really get a seal. Mate, it was the oil from last night. Seen a bit more compression last night. But, nonetheless, it's free. Um, so there's the head. Back on there. Still no idea what engine this is. Still unknown. Uh, put on Tom Forum. No one seems to have applied yet. Uh, I've got the flywheel off tonight. As it came off a lot easier than I thought. The only real problem I had was where I had to grind a bolt. I was grinding a bolt down like that to get the nut off it because it was spinning its shaft. One of yeah, the light. That one there sits up like that with the nut on it holding that in place there. So I cut that off to get it out. It wasn't so bad. Uh, this nut here came off its left hand. This nut here came off its left hand thread. I can see it. Hand thread a bit odd. Our old spanner here came to the rescue. Just went out from a garage sale years ago, a Whitworth one. So, fitted, fitted it alright anyway. Uh, so, yeah, still no ideas. A few part numbers on it, but not much. The only thing I've really found is on the fuel cap, which I just got off. And it says fuel, oh, it looks real good in the slight camera. Fuel slowly. Still no real brand name on it. So I thought I'd pull off and wave one of the coil here, but not. Uh, see how long the camera lasts. We might rain flat. We'll give the coil a quick test of me older. Me older. Mega, wherever it is. Set him up. Come on, you did that. Was. Right. We set the ohms, yep, set the ohms. First one I'll test is the points coil. So we'll go from that wire there. That wire there. That's good enough. The ground. Uh, I'll try and 
it's only grounded not under there, it'll do perfectly under there right, see what we Seems just okay. Probably not though. And now we'll test the. That one stays there. Now we'll test the spark coil. It reads the same as the Megones. Hmm, doesn't seem good. That one seems to be broken. The old crank style maker I'm using. Give it to me. Can't use it for work, but it's alright for the shed to test coils and stuff. Not bad. Um, so yeah, that's it. So coils probably shorted on the or down to ground, I suppose you'd call it, on the points coil and too high a little bit too high on the spark coil but I could be wrong, it could just be a little bit wet I did burn it a little bit when I heated up this to get it off but I more than likely reckon that's stuffed if not the con condenser would definitely be stuffed they always are anyway, I've got to go before the camera dies see you later